Hi there, my name's Dakota. I'm a certified prosthetist with Speyer Autobot Care. Today, I'm joined here with Guy and Bill, and they're gonna be helping us demonstrate the correct way to put on a prosthetic liner and a prosthetic sleeve. So, Bill, before we begin, I'm just gonna get you to um, pat down your stump, just in case there's any residual sweat or water. Great, I can take that. Thank you. Bill, it's a good habit to get into um, inspecting your liner. I'll get you to inspect that for me. What I want you to check for is any damages, uh, cracks, splits, And if there is any damage or crack splits, um, definitely get in contact with your prosthetist and organize a replacement. Great, all right. Now, Bill, I know that you use a sweat sock, so I'll get you to pop that one on first. Okay. I'll get you to completely invert that one now for me. Okay, now I need to make sure there's no air trapped in the bottom. And it's important when fitting the liner that you keep it centralised and aligned properly. Great. Then I wear a packing sock. It's important when putting on this volume packing sock that none of this thread is caught, none of the sock is caught within this thread. Now you're ready to put the prosthesis on. You can do this at a 45 degree angle and push into the socket. You may hear it click or you may see the dial on the side spin. Alrighty. Does that feel like it's on? Feels wonderful. All right, great. Have a stand. Cool. Okay. What you can do is you can take a few steps side to side to really ensure that it is on. Great. Fine. Wonderful. You can take a seat, Bill. Thank you. Some prostheses utilize a one-way valve and a suspension sleeve to create a vacuum within the socket. Guy, uh, can I please get you to demonstrate putting on a new prosthetic sleeve on your prosthesis for me? Sure. So, when you, when you get the sleeve out, it's that way. I always turn them inside out to start with, because that's actually how I put them on. But also there's two lines where it's been joined. If you hold it with those two lines, you'll see that there's a, a definite knee yeah. um, near, the, near the narrow part. So that's face that towards the front and I put the thick part over the top with it inside out and just pull down until it's gone past past the where your, your leg goes into the socket. Um, go, go a bit past and then turn the, the lip of it inside out, invert it. At this stage, at the back, we want to have at least five centimetres beyond the back trim line. Yep. And then you just start, because then you've got the cloth on both sides, on the other side, you can start sort of slowly trying to work it way up. If it does catch and roll, it has there, you can put your hand in and just release, and then it pops back down again. So you can keep going again. Eventually, it'll come all the way up. I then like to just turn it around to make sure that's all nice and level around yep. the bottom and that there is a good distance at the yeah. back for the seal. Yeah, great. Alrighty. We'll put that to the side now. And I know you use a sweat sock, so if you want to pop that one on now, what I'll do this for you is I'm going to invert the liner. There you are, and I'll get you to place that on for me. Okay. 
like to, when I check for any damage to it, I like to put my hand in and stretch. So yep. That way if there's any, any minor cracks or anything in it, you can see it. Make it so there's just a little cup in the, in the front there and squeeze it so it's almost flat. That way when you put it on and pull it, you should be expelling all the air from around the end of your, end of your, your stump so that there, there's nothing in the liner to, um, to cause any discomfort later on. Yep. Yeah, and great. So I'll bring it up. I have, I have to keep stretching the, <laughs> the, yep. uh, the sweat liner so that it comes up over the top. And then I just fold the, the sweat liner back over it so that there's, so that there's skin exposed there yeah. for, for the next part. Yeah, great. And, and that next part is now putting the prosthesis on. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll get you to throw this one on, we'll get you to put some weight through it. And then using the pump, oh. I'm just sitting forward so I can get some weight into it a bit. Yeah. To make sure it's seated fully in there. Yeah. Before I start rolling up the, rolling up the outer sleeve. So while we're at this stage, I just want to want to show here. This is where the top of the liner sits, and there is at least five centimeters here. So when that is in made in contact with the skin, we can be certain that there will be a good amount of vacuum. Yeah. Um, if, if you do wear a light, the, the, the sweat liner and don't turn it down and have that all at the top, you end up having no, no vacuum seal. Yeah, 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 definitely. And because mine has, a, has an active pump in the heel, I generally just hit the heel a few times yep. to expel any air that's in the bottom of the socket yep. before, I, before I go, before I stand up and then just do it a couple more times generally when I first stand up to make sure it's all seated properly. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, great. Wonderful, thank you. You can take a seat. And that's it. By following these steps, you can ensure that you have correctly donned your prosthetics sleeve and your prosthetic liner. Remember, taking the time to properly do this can make a diff big difference for your daily comfort and mobility. I hope this video has found you well. If you'd like to learn more about prosthetics, orthotics, or Speyer Otterbock Care, go to our website here, or check out our other videos on this channel.